In this lesson, we are going to talk about how to use the transformation, transformations and determinants to find the area uh, slash volume. So this is based on um, the theorem that you see here. So if we let T be a transformation from R2 to R2, and specifically let it be a linear transformation given by um, given by a two by two matrix, if if you have if you have S, if S is a parallelogram in R2 then we can determine the area of that parallelogram after, after the transformation has been done. So the area of the transformation of S is actually equal to the determinant of the matrix for that corresponding transformation times the area of S. And the same can be something similar or the same can be uh, for, uh, for doing something in, with volume. In that case, you would need a three by three matrix A, and for that shape, S would be a what's called a parallel pivot in R three. So then you would to get the volume of the transformation of that shape of that parallel pivot, it would be the ter the determinant of that matrix times the volume of S. Okay, so here's an example here. Um, so we have an example here where we're given. Um, the parallelogram will be de defined by these two vectors b1 and b2, and we are given uh, the we are given the transformation matrix A. So we want to compute the area of the image of us under the transformation of A. Okay, so let's first sketch out what we got here. Okay. So. Okay, so we have. Make this a little bit better. All right, so B one is one three, so we're gonna put, we're gonna place that here. So again, this is let's call this the your x, and this is your y axis. So one three. So let's put that here. One two three. Okay, there's my vector, and then let's have uh, let's go ahead and plot five one. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, so from this, okay, from these two vectors, we get our, we can, we can uh, create our parallelogram. So I'm going to extend this vector up here, and then this one, extend it over here. All right, so S, all right, so S is the, so S refers to this, uh, to this area of the parallelogram. So this is S. So we want to find the area of this parallelogram under the transformation of A. Okay, so there's two components that we need, right? We need, uh, first we need the determinant of the transformation matrix. So let's do that here. So the determinant of A is going to be two minus zero, right? which gives us two, okay? And then we also need the area of S. Okay, so let's let's uh, define or let's define a matrix called B. So for B, I'm going to put B one in the first column, so it's going to be one three, and for the second column, I'll put B two. And really, the order doesn't matter. You can put B two in the first column and B one in the second column. It won't matter because when we take the determinant. Um, you, we are going to uh, take the absolute value of that. So the order of the columns doesn't matter in this case. So using a previous theorem, right, if we're given, right, so if we're given B1 and B2, okay, this is going to form our matrix. So based on this, we can find the area of S. So the determinant, okay, so the determinant of this matrix is going to be 1 minus 15. 
and that's going to give us negative 14. So therefore, the area, the area of S is going to be the absolute value of minus 14, which will give us 14. So now we can go ahead and use our theorem, okay? So the area of, of S under the transformation, okay? is going to be equal to the determinant of your transformation matrix, which I'm going to just use this notation, times the area of S. Okay, so we have all those. So the so the determinant of A is two and the area of s was the area of s was 14 so we get we get the total area of s under the transformation will be 28 and this will be units squared okay